Hello there, my friends, and welcome back to Equestria War, in which we're playing as that Grand Principality of Lake City. Last time, we really focused on developing, uh, let's see, our puppet, Deponia, but right now we're about to finish up development grants for Deponia, which will be a great thing. It is now January 9th, 10, 11, in which we are trying to get more artillery, of course, and to boost up our uh, guys here in terms of our divisions, make them 40 combat with divisions, which would, be, which would be very, very good. Right now, they're out of manpower, but let us go ahead and do Blessed Swords Legacy because, well, we there's not much else to do here regarding this stuff. We could do this stuff, but we don't want to do Dreams of a Federation. But Blessed Sword was the first Grand Prince of Lake City. He was a brilliant general, a skillful diplomat, and a cunning strategist who unified the tribes around the lake, turning a meager city-state into a growing power. It's time to capitalize upon his legacy by promising to turn or take Lake City into a new era, or new era of greatness. Which we get political power, but right now I'm going to go ahead and maybe we, can we go to war with these guys? Democracies can't justify war goals against countries that have not generated real attention. There was a comment from yesterday stating that uh, it's unfortunate that these guys went communist because like we could have gotten them or something with us. I don't know, something like that. I forget what the comment exactly was. Something similar to that though. But uh, yeah, we hopefully can do the best we possibly can. Let's grab some EMP tens. Uh, against the rest of the River Coalition, which we are still a part of, but by the end of this episode, we definitely will not be. And give you one moment, my cat, Binky, wants to be let out of the room for some reason. Right, Bink? My apologies, but let us continue nonetheless. We have five research slots, which is great, 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 but we're out of manpower. I really don't like losing manpower. Oof. But we'll do this, and hopefully we, eventually we go to war. We can do Royal Guard, which gives us actually 1.5% more population, some more army XP. But since we're out of manpower anyways, let's throw on some uh, infantry here. Sounds like fun to me. Cool. The Fall of Lost Pegasus. Oh, yeah, and the Changelings are destroying the Solar Empire. Go figure. Go figure. Uh, let's see. We definitely need more guns and artillery now. That's not ideal. Uh, we, I believe I did buy one thing of tungsten, so we will do okay with that. Just so that production is at full capacity for now. Actually, we have some planes, too, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. And some planes. I'm not sure why we only have three tactical bombers. That doesn't seem very effective, but whatever. Do that, do that, do that. Kind of hang out for now. Don't even train or we'll lose stuff. Let's go ahead. I would love to go war economy. Let's go ahead and grab limited conscription. Well, because we need more pony power immediately. We are out how much? Casually, 140,000. Woo, that's a lot. That's a lot of pony power. I don't want to make other division templates. I just want to use 40 combat widths because we need that much. We need to use that. Oh, actually. Oh, we're still allied with them. That's why. I do want to go to war with them. So, let's see. Actually, what if we go to war with them and call our allies in, but then take everything for ourselves? Not a bad idea, actually. Let's try that. But we're still kind of a part of a democracy. We didn't leave the Union yet. Hmm. It is 10-11, so let's grab some more research speed first with improvised or improved computing machine. Huh. So we can't go to war with them, which means we can't use the our allies to go to war with them. Can we go to war with anyone and just take stuff from them? Oh. Hmm. Griffonian People's Front. Well, I don't want to increase the size or power of these guys, so... Anti-Communist League. Hmm. Crystal Ponies declare independence. Farming modernization would be nice, but before we do that, I definitely want to grab Willow Moss, because that's a lot of more attack and defense. But next up, we shall do Royal Guard. So the Royal Guard of Grand Prince Heavenly Snow are an elite fighting force. We're prepared to sacrifice all in defense of the monarch. This has given them a prestigious reputation throughout the land. While few men or few will ever have the honor of serving with this elite unit, it would not stop May from enlisting in the hopes that they... Oh crap, I read that too fast. Uh, that they will one day make the cut. Let's hopefully they, hopefully they will. Because I do want to get to reorganize the military for more daily political power. That would be very, very helpful. Very, 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 very helpful, actually. And then we're just going to go ahead and grab Willow Moss just because that's really good stuff. And we have left at the Spears because our colors have changed. If that's the case, let's go ahead and justify on these guys and hopefully take these guys out relatively quickly. Hopefully. Because I would like to puppet them. We don't have the manpower to core them, but at least to puppet them for now and use their divisions as a bulwark. As Again, sort of against Bakata, but really just use their divisions against all these guys over here. Engineer 2 would be awesome. Maybe grab some more recon, because we already have recon on our divisions, which is very nice. Right, we already have engineers, recon, and artillery. So that's good. That's very, very good.
just leaving the faction. Oh, what the heck? Is a little dangerous. United Ponies Alliance. Oh, there's a People's Front right there and over there. Well, the United P Ponies Alliance is kind of kind of alone right now. There's the Reich's Pact. Hmm. Actually, why don't we go over here first? We can take these guys out. Maybe. Well, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Stalingrad threatens a quest. Okay, no, they just go to war with the Solar Empire. Okay, then. Cool. Keep getting more. Keep getting more pony power. That is incredibly important because if we take over an Asian, we have to have garrisons and that costs more stuff. Now we only need about 120, roughly 120,000 more pony power. Mmm. That is not ideal. Definitely not ideal. Go ahead and make another military factory. Why not? So we're almost done. Actually, finish this one first. You might as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ban harmonic and democratic parties. Oh. Okay, we could do that, but we're doing pretty well with this because we get daily support anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's nice. Could grab some extraction. Let's get some more cap with production efficiency. Cap plus 10% would be very good. And how about our delay doctrine? God dang, we need more manpower. Pony power. Big sad. Now we only need about 110,000. Not bad. We're still mobilizing. We are not. Oh, that is not good. I, I'm, I'm really tempted right now just to go up to extensive conscription and then service by requirement because it's going to cost a lot of pony power. Daylight Doctrine is done. Let's grab some more defense. 10% more for mobile defense. That's good stuff. Very good stuff. Especially if we're entrenched. Captain Principality was annexed. Are we out of anything good? We're going to keep this many of guns. That's not bad for artillery either. Like festival. This happens every year. If you'd like to read it, go right ahead. We're going to earmark some funds. Make sure that we got the best artillery. Changing Olenia became a subject of the Changing Queendom. We currently get 1.95 a day, but really 0.95, because we need to reorganize the military first. Due to the power of the military and the vital role in the royal coup, the Grand Prince was initially unable to interfere in the affairs of the army. However, the Grand Prince's power has finally grown to the point where he can now safely purge the military of its last vestiges of republicanism and anti-monarchist sentiments. Cool. More daily political power is exactly something that we need right now. You know what? I want more... Pony power. Ooh. We're to keep mobilizing for now. You know what? I'm gonna go and grab Willow Moss. That'll be very good. Plus 15% defense. When we need to fight these guys, we're gonna need as much defense as possible. So next up we'll do is get extensive conscription. Uh Diamond Dot Communism is unacceptable. We cannot tolerate that here or anywhere really. So when we can go to war with them, we will. Not that much manpower, They're obviously more than us. Uh quite a few divisions though, but we do have 40 combat with divisions, so we keep that in mind. How much more pony power? Because we are mobilizing more, right? About 100,000 left. Good, 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 good. Keep mobilizing, because this is going to be one big old mobilizing thing. A week of grandeur. This happens every episode now, so if you would like to read this, this is about the festival that has just happened, which is good. Which is very, very good. Let's go ahead and grab this. Good. And let's go ahead and grab this. More defense. Support weapons, one. More defense and breakthrough, which would be good. A forever Sun Celebration. Uh, I'm probably going to go up here to here to take out these two divisions first, if possible. So you guys come over here first. And I do want to take out this division. We might attack here. We actually probably attack here first. We're all up there and then over here. We're going to really stretch out our lines a little bit more. Hopefully we can do fairly okay. So. Oh, now we're really out of guns. Oh, crap. That's not good. Uh, do that and go up to there. If I need to, we can make another military factory probably here. It's only one more, but whatever. I'll still take it. How much more pony power do we need? Because we need as much as possible right now. Less than 100,000, which is good. Now, I'm not sure if these guys get a war goal against us since we did leave. Actually, Deponia. Request forces. Actually, let's go and request... They have only four divisions, which is fine. Good. We just need divisions to help hold the line for now. I'd love to use your manpower, but... Eh, I could make special divisions, but we don't have that much army XP. They're out of divisions because I took them. Uh, 68,000, that's not bad. They are currently on, are on what... Extensive conscription already, wow. Was not expecting that. That's fine, whatever. Recon Company 2s. That's a case. Let's go ahead and grab some field hospitals, because we have enough support equipment. We really gotta make sure we have enough uh, manpower, pony power for the future. Right, that's a case. Go ahead and do this. Go down to 3. Oh, Vinland declared war on the Majorocracy. Cool. Very cool. So then these guys are gonna be distracted, which is good for us. Let's go ahead and do this and go to war with everyone. By everyone, I mean for these guys. Call our ally Deponia in, because they can't say no, which is great. You guys go there. You guys come up there to cut those guys off. You guys help attack here, too. Uh, let's go that way. 
And we'll save that. You guys go there. You guys take two divisions, go there, and you guys hopefully can push this way too. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. If we can push through here quickly enough. Um, cool. Looks like they're winning. Help them out. Help them out. And we're winning over here and here and here. We're going to do three, or really just two encirclements. Reorganize the military. We're going to go ahead and do for the prince, anti-griffin propaganda. More war support wouldn't be bad. Less training times. We could do that as well. Anti-griffin warfare is okay. Oh. Huh. So we need to do this one or this one to get down here. So let's do found the East Griffoni Sphere. The River Coalition has become too bloated and bureaucratic, burying themselves with their quest towards integration and drafting useless social policies. By creating the East Griffonia Crow Prosperity Sphere, we can offer an alternative for River Coalition members willing to distance themselves from the organization. Are we lose how are we losing here now? Hold on. We begin the attack here. Don't let him move. Yeah, I'm sorry, but no. 40 combat widths are too big to lose like that. Help them out, help them out, help them out, help them out. Two divisions are going to go bye-bye immediately. I'm very surprised that these guys are losing. I'm extremely surprised that these guys are losing. Actually, I'm not surprised because they didn't put my planes in the air. That's why. Duh. Mr. Milk Lover. You would have found more success if you just did what you had to do. Yeah, there you go. Help them out. Help them out. Come on, go, 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 go. How did we get into... What the hell happened there? What the hell? No. Over your dead body. How did they... What the heck? I just want to make a god dang encirclement. What in the world is going on? Oh, force the attack. Oh, no, not that, not that, not that group though. This, these guys. Force the attack. Kill these, divi this, kill these divisions off. How dare you try to encircle me? Every single one of you are going to die right now here. Good. Ooh, that was garbage. Stray garbage. Oh my goodness. We got, we got encircled. How? If they want to mess around. Let them mess around and find out what, what's going to happen if they try to do this stuff to me. No, 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 no. You're going to crush every single one of them. That strength level has got to go down, down, down. Oh, yeah, so I'll throw you over there. That's nice. That's very nice. Good. And this, is, this isn't our land getting attacked either, so that's good. Let's let our guys move around. Okay. Cool. The Majorocracy, keep, keep going, keep going. That's actually really good for us. I want to spread our divisions out so we can do more encirclements because that last time was garbage. All right, we're probably gonna attack here and then here, but I don't know why you guys are all stationed right here. You go here, and you guys go here. Cool. Improved computing machines, nice. Let's grab some more decryption. That'd be good. All right, you guys just immediately attack here. You guys immediately attack here. With support from you as well, because I want to make another encirclement here. Good. Good. You're gonna help support the attack so they don't lose. You guys help support the attack so they don't lose. Using 40 combo widths is probably the best idea. We're gonna need more manpower. Garrison's probably really, really sucky right now. Come on. Good. Good. Very nice. Just kill them off immediately. No peace for these guys. We could try a general attack, but eh, we'll, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Diamond Mountain. Oh, they're pretty. They're low. On, okay, so they're they're gonna do that. We'll be able to help out and just take this capital city then. Good. We might be able to win here. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Come on. Come on. 125. Anything else here? Not really. We eat some dogs. Killing. Oh, against commies, I guess. That makes sense, I suppose. Uh, over here, we're gonna do. Uh, you're gonna go from here to here. You're gonna come right there. You're going to help support them right there. We're going to support another division right there. That'd be good. Weaver. Okay, at this point, if they're going to abandon the line, so be it. We're just going to attack all across the board. These guys, you're not my divisions, but I don't really care. Actually, we can probably encircle these guys then. Solar Empire's gone. Oh, boy. Baltimore's lost. Changelings prevail in Equestria. Oh, boy. Actually, you guys just go here to here to here, and you'll cut them off. Which will be excellent. And then you guys go there, there, just to cut these guys off completely. In their entirety. End of the Solar Civil War. Uh, keep these guys in place. Don't let them move. They will die if you hit them hard enough. Good. Oh, we got an upgrade for Cold Dew. Always level four now. Is Cold a male name? I don't know. Oh, seriously. Seriously. Okay, so where's the capital now? Ah, oh, this is this is it right here. Advanced machine tools. Nice. Let's go ahead and improve our fighters next, since we are using them. 
Okay, you got three divisions. Kill these people off. No, they're not people. They're ponies. Support weapons, great. Let's go ahead and grab some improved infantry equipment, too, for even more soft attack. Good, those guys died. Seriously, take the land. Take him. Yes, resistance. That's fine. Come on. Take it, take it, take it. Good. Okay, they're gone. So, I'm just... I would love to, like, just take their lands over, but I'm going to puppet them since we don't have the manpower right now. And I don't have cores on them, so... That's okay with me. Uh, how's the majocracy holding up? It might be time to go to war with all these other people. Uh, let's see... Restoration of Order and Barad. 25,000. Oh, just Vintland. Okay. Just Vintland is fighting. Wow! 25,000 versus one... Th Jesus. What the heck? Hmm, did they make any more divisions? No. And I doubt they have any, yep. Hello, Rover Diamond Shield. Oh, that's a lot of manpower. Pony power. No divisions, of course, since we just killed them all off. Uh, just in case, I'm not going to defend those guys on North. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We really don't have enough divisions. Oh, my goodness. But at least we don't have to garrison this area yet. Which I'm going to go straight for extended mobilization. Cool. Gonna get 2.23, really 1.23, which is not bad. We we had oh I should have waited to go to war a little longer, so we could have, could have gotten that down with the coalition. Let's do this just so we have it ready whenever. So at one point the river coalition was the most important aspect of our foreign policy. However, the once mighty or military organization has fallen upon hard times, leaving the ponies of Eastern Griffonia vulnerable to Griffin bar barbarism. We must use the lands of our former allies in order to ensure their safety against the horrors of Griffin kind. Yeah, I'm just looking to see. There's there's nothing over here. Regarding diamond dogs, so that's fine. At least we have our own faction, that's kind of cool. Oh, Thazarian Polite has capitulated. We have a lot of army XP now. And unfortunately, I have to raise up my conscription again. It sucks. Well, that's okay. It's a necessary evil. Eventually, we won't, we'll have so much pony power that we don't know what to do with it. Actually, at this point, we could have maybe... Well, I mean, I don't want to deal with the resistance on here. They have a good amount of resources, but still... Steel. I'm going to grab it from... Um, I could grab it from you guys, but I want to raise up your conscription level. Or raise up their autonomy level, I mean. There you go. Nice. Good. Another division. Go ahead and train everyone if you need it. If we, if we, looks like we really do. Oh, Peasant Republic of Griffin Martian. Cool. You know what? Let's, let's get uh, one of these. That's not bad. Not a bad idea. Make sure we approve all these areas eventually. Obviously not immediately, but... Oh, that. This place is very rich in resources. Wow. The more divisions we have, the better capabilities we have for defending and attacking. Uh, let's go with max entrenchment because this war against these guys is going to be really not good for us. Vinland is losing. Oh, please lose. If Vinland can lose, that's literally one less enemy that we have to fight. Which is awesome. Decryption. Good. Let's get some encryption. More cryptology level. Uh, this is very weird. There we go. Better. Mobilizing even more, great. Cold do, and we're improving our soldiers. Some of them are entrenched, we need more artillery pieces, which is fine now. Because we have enough tungsten for now. Go ahead and do that as well. Three, convert some stuff. We're gonna need more factories. Go down to five, actually, just so we get some more motorized. We're gonna need some fighters and tactical bombers, though. Hmm, promises of peace? No, we're not gonna lie to people. Yeah, Vintland. Oh, no. Oh, wait, actually, can I... Ooh, can I send volunteers? Yes. Oh, they're fighting everyone. Oh, this is the perfect time to go to war, then. Ah! Barad, you gotta hold out. You have got to hold out. Or that, or we'll just have to wait here for quite a while until we can go to war with these guys, actually. By getting a massive army. Oh, we're out of 40,000 manpower still. That's ridiculous. Oh, man. You know, I'm gonna send you volunteers anyways. Um, stop training for now. You're done. You're done. And we're gonna throw in Yanko. Janko, Yanko. 40 combat widths would be nice. And they probably refused, didn't they? I, I just clicked on stuff really quickly. Yeah, they refused. Of course they would. Of course. Come on, keep training, guys. Good hospital ones would be great. I'm going to go ahead and grab two. It costs more manpower to actually put them on, but that's fine. I don't really care. Because we need them. Support equipment has gone down. That's still not bad. Oh, now we need some serious motorized, but we are making some motorized, which is okay. Down with the coalition, so that's good. Uh, for the prince, would be good to do next. 
Every soldier shall be prepared to sacrifice fully in the name of their grand prince. This is the benefit of a monarchy. In a monarchy, our army is not a collection of individuals, but rather a single mighty, mightily organic entity aligned in its admiration and devotion to its liege. If we militarize this philosophy fully, there will be few who can stand up against us. More stability, war support, division attack, and defense, which is nice. Ooh, if we go to war now, we might just be able to save these guys. I kind of doubt it. Uh, how many divisions do they have? 11, 24, 3 to 17, 8 to 23, 8 to 24. I think it's just probably best to wait, especially as these guys make more and more divisions. Or make any divisions. Please make some divisions, guys. Please. I could use my puppet's manpower to make these divisions, but... Ooh. That is okay. That is okay. Stop using all this magical mage company, because I can't... I don't have it. That's okay. Um... That's 16 combat width. 20. You're going to duplicate this one. Save. Oh my gosh. That's, why is it so much? Holy crap. Why is that so much? No, I'm not going to afford that then. Are you kidding me? Why is it so much? Do we have to have to pay for every single one of these? Oh my god, that's that's ridiculous. That's a bit ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. That's ridiculous. If that's the case, I'm just going to get these divisions then. Alright. Diamond Mountain, you're going to make some really good divisions. 18 combat width is not bad. 20. I don't mind paying for that then. So be it. Did it make it? Uh, it doesn't have that thing over there. Man, mm. not enough. Okay, so okay, so here's what happens. I'm gonna give myself. Let's see, 70 XP, I, and I'm sorry I'm using cons commands, just because if we have this, it didn't actually give us the right template. This is like a little glitch in Hoi Four that kind of pisses me off sometimes. So this is what exactly what you have to do. Come here, do this again, so it happens again, and I will get rid of the extra uh, XP that we have for air and. Uh, Naval stuff, but that's I hate that so much. I can't believe Paradox has not fixed that yet. We want to copy that. See, there, there, there we go. We now have the flag because if you don't have the flag, then it doesn't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and take away that XP. There we go. Cool. So exactly the same as we had before. Um, yeah, if you don't have the flag, it doesn't actually work for you. So, which is really, really stupid. Uh, throw this on there and then throw on some recon. Yeah, we might as well. Cool. Train. Good. So yeah, that pisses me off. But happy 10 for 12. Happy not 10 14, but 10 12. It's going to be a hellacious year to say the least. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about Barad Majocracy. They're just too weak to. They can fight. These guys by themselves fine enough, but oh, they're out of manpower. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm, I am considering going to war with maybe another one of these guys just to make sure we get another puppet under us. Maybe. How long would it take to go to war with these guys? 125 days. You guys are. 125 days. It's not bad. Hmm. Kingdom of Lushi. Can I go to war with these guys too? 125 days. God dang it. It's all 125 days. If anything, this would be great to take out, but they might get taken out by the Griffonian Empire, and I don't want that. How, how many divisions do they have? 625. Change things take Manhattan. 8 to 31. Alright, so I might go to war with these guys just so that we can get some more puppets under us. Because we don't, we don't have the manpower. We don't have this organized strength to take on the entire river coalition. If anything, if they attack us now, they might be able to beat us up and win. So we can't really afford that either. So, we we'll keep you guys here for now. There goes Equestria. Equestria has lost. Actually, we do have claims on this territory too. Not a core, but a claim. For the prince. A river empire. I do want to do this. We get everything as a core, but... We'll see what happens. Oh, we're caught between a rock and a hard place right now. This is not fun. This is not good. Well, it's kind of fun. We're not that good for us. Wow, there's a lot of different types of things here. Woof. Hmm. Still building ourselves up. Let's get another uh, refinery, maybe. That'd be kind of nice. Just so that we can... Hey, we got plus one. Nice. Selling grad. Goodbye. Thank you. A whole another civilian factory to use. But now they have all their divisions there because the broad majority is gonna. Oh, that's so not good. Are oh, they gonna capitulate? Because they don't want it. They don't want us to help them. I don't understand why. It's ten, twelve. Let's grab some more output and slightly more population. Need more motorized. Need more artillery now. Question the motives of these guys. Ooh, yay, that's done too. Great. 
Uh, let's go up to three. Let's go down to one. We'll do that there too. Cool. Improved infantry equipment two. Let's grab some support weapons too for more defense and break through. 18,000 manpower. We're actually doing okay on manpower? Wow. That's a little different to see. Awesome though. I'll gladly take it. Now we can't go to service. Yes, we can go to service by requirement. That's good. For the prince, awesome. Let's go and do he his heavenly presence. Oh, what is this? Free communities of longsword. Where's that? Over oh, right here. Actually, that might prove to be very good for us. Let's do anti-Griffin propaganda first. The February 4th coup and the period of instability which followed distracted us from who our real enemies are. To our south and the west lie the hordes of Griffin kind, readying themselves to invade our lands. As such, we must unite our ponies behind the leadership of our grand prince for the struggle ahead. And do we have an expiration date on this stuff? No, we do not, which is good. Encryption, huh? Not bad. It's 10 12. We could do some stuff like nuclear stuff, but armored cards would actually be pretty good to do as well. Uh, we can't do this stuff yet. That's fine. Signal companies, I might want to use artillery. Let's get better artillery. More soft attack would be great. And more uh, land auction. Very good, very good. And which we'll do integrated support. This follows Stalingrad. Oh! What is Stalingrad without Stalingrad? Integrated support is always good to do. More soft attack, more organization. Yes, please. Over here. Uh, are we done mobilizing? We're not quite done yet, which is good. Back, backstabber. Uh, small grin might not be bad to do. Less damage against is minus 25%. God dang. We're gonna get river smog first, just because we're building up civilian factories, refineries, and infrastructure, which is which are all great things to have under us. So, actually, can we go to war with the Kaiv commune? We can go to war with Kesa, Ponehin, Ponehin, Nibuzia. So yeah, Bitland. I need these guys to fight someone else for us. I need them to get involved against the communes or the, the commies and stuff like that. We really need them to get to war with someone else so that we can take them out. Because currently, I'm not capable of it because we're just too strong. Or, I mean, weak. We are too weak. I wish we were too strong. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, so have manpower, so have manpower. They also have manpower. Uh, actually, the River Republic does not look very strong. Bakata? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we could go to war, but. Hmm. Good hospital twos are good to have. You know what? I ignore this for too long. Let's get some more entrenchment. Earth pony sappers. Very cool. I have not forgotten about them, as you can see. Which is a good thing. We denounce them, which is good. Because I do want to get to this Bukrovic incident. Get to the event Bukrovic incident to see what happens. I'm not sure what will happen, because we, we are justifying on them, but I do want to see what happens first. Yeah, if I can get everything, I'm not going to ask for your help at all. Changing millennia. There you go. More tungsten for the people. And for the people, I mean for the military. We need more rubber. But we're working on that. Because each one gives us... Oh! The building provides a safe... Plus one rubber. No... No, oh, you can actually edit this a little bit more? That's kind of cool. Oh, and for now, go ahead and stop doing that. Just kind of hang out. Enjoy ourselves. Train some more. You know, the good stuff. The good life. Yeah, we definitely go need ambusher. Kaiv Commune. Acquire fighter focus. No national focus set. Um, please tell me they can go to war with these guys. They're doing black gold, which sounds smart. So, the issue of the crown. Cool. Support for Brad Grifnitsky. Proclaim our foreign policy. Young socialist group. Befriend the GLA. Confirm to pry win. Revolution without borders. Victory the proletariat. Ah, uh, please do more stuff. Please, please, please. Let's go ahead and do the Bukrovic Incident. The significant population of ponies living across the border in the county of Longsword. However, this minority has often bore the brunt of griff griffin bigotry and barbarism. As tensions between this community and the griffin majority rise, there appears that these communities may be targeted for a systematic attack. You know what? Just in case things go poorly. And we probably get attacked in the butt as well if we do this. Plus better divisions over here for now. Real quick like. Hey, better artillery. Beautiful. And we're going to get even more. 10% more. Never enough. Never ever enough. What are we missing right now? Motorized. But we're doing better on that. we got to make sure we have a good stockpile of infantry equipment just because garrisons. We should probably get some military police as well. That'd be very good to do. A little bit of lag there, I'd say. Ooh. All right, there we go. Anti-Griffin propaganda. More population for now. Or support training times goes down, which is good. Like festival, this happens every year. Actually, I'm going to put you over here just because while well, I like those divisions, um, they're only 20 combat width, and I'm going to keep our puppets divisions separate from everyone else. So, it is what it is. Hey, we're going to war with Swordston. 
Oh, we'll go to war as soon as the focus is done, unless there's something that we really need to do here. So, we have until when? June 3rd? July 29th. So, less than two months. Oh, we're going to lose the war justification then, probably. Oh, we might be pretty close. The Romao Commune, which is pretty tiny right here. Romao. Wow, that is a dark continent. The Manhattan Protectorate. Oh, that's why I was lagging earlier. Appalusian Protectorate. The Austral Protectorate. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they even have up there. Support weapons 2. How will they ever top this? We could grandeur. That happens every video now. Uh, let's grab some support weapons 3. Defense, even more defensive breakthrough would be very good for us. Anything else? I mean, yeah, farm, farming modernization is good. We could get some more aluminum. And another civilian factory. That's not bad. I'm tempted to do that right now just to get rid of that. Cool. So mobilizing a little bit more, which is great. Ooh. Oh, Pryon is pretty big too. Wow. Oh, the Falkorian Union, huh? Carthinian Pact, the Griffonian People's Front, the Anti-Communist League, East Griffonian Co-Prosperity Sphere, the River Coalition, the Reich's Pact, and then we have Changeling Hegemony. I'm glad I'm not on this continent. That looks really not good. They might be running out of manpower, though, since they have to garrison all that stuff. Oof. Oh, they got a good amount, though. Oh, who can't give me other goods? Seriously. Goodbye. Gryfall, we tried you earlier. Hopefully you keep up with us. Arctic Emperor declared war on the polar bear communities. Cool. And now we have 10 days left, which we will be able to go to war even if this event fires or something happens. I have no idea what's going to happen. So let's stop doing that. Disperse 4. 10, 12. Let's get some more construction speed to improve ourselves even more and more and more. Keep making the stuff. How's the rubber doing? Minus 3 still. It's doing okay. Earth, pony sappers for even more entrenchment. We're going to grab some more construction speed and output immediately with the magic of industry. Very good. Oh, the Bukrovic incidents. Oh, look at that. Oh, we didn't have to just fight on them at all. In the early hours yesterday morning, a refugee from the occupied town of Bukrovic crossed the river and begged Lake City troops to help save them from the Griffins who were brainwashing the local ponies into believing they were Griffins. Horrified by this act of barbarism, the general ordered his troops across the border to save as many ponies as possible. The prince, in his mightily wisdom, has seen fit to support this action and has sent a demand of Griffins uh, to the Griffins of the free communities of Longswords to cease all anti-pony actions and withdraw from pony lands. Unfortunately, this demand was rejected and the Griffins have sent their troops, including brainwashing wash pony slaves to fight against us. Oh, crap. We could go to war with all of them. Oh, crap. That's not good. Uh, you know what? I'm not going click, to click on that yet because we have 13 days. If that's the case... Okay, so I'm glad I actually justified on these guys then because that means we can fight these guys independently for like 13 days and kill them off first and then focus on these guys up in the north. Not a bad thing. Oh, that actually works out really really well for us. Okay, we're winning very well. Uh, how weak are these guys? Hold on. Not that much. The industry's not good. Uh, we'll see what happens. If we can do this within two weeks, we'll be great. Because then we can take out these guys as well. So that's awesome. That's actually really, really awesome. All right, let's get the next focus after this. In which we shall do princely command. Previously, the Grand Prince and Minister of War were two separate ponies within Lake City. However, by combining these two positions into one, we can position the military directly subordinate to the crown. Thus, Heavenly Snow can ensure their loyalty and command his forces without the interference of his generals or ministers. But we have to be at war for this to happen. So we got to time this carefully. Nine days left, which is fine. They've already lost 17, 18,000 ponies, or griffins, actually. Wow. All right, 10, 12, let's grab some more cap, too. That'd be good. Because we'll go to war as soon as they are close to capitulating. Unless, unless we just go to war immediately, which is fine with me. I don't really care. Romal Kami is obviously gone. That's fine. 1,000 losses so far for us. 73,000 for them. Come on. Come on, you guys are not doing it fast enough. How have you not won the, the war yet? Because we only have so much time here. Just as planned, let's go ahead and do this one too. Because they, they have some defenses too. So, And I don't want to lose the progress we have for the princely command. So, Go, go, go. You have no time to waste the Bucrovic incident. This is what we've been waiting for. Hopefully we can core this area later on. Good, we've got it. You better hurry the heck up. Come on. You have no time to waste. Go, 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 go. Get in there, too. Good. Thank you. I don't even know what they sent me, but I took it. Ah, oh, there we go. Whew. Um, I'm really not sure where to do this. I guess I could just annex it. I mean, that's going to be a drain on resources, but whatever. All right, so that's a case. You guys are going to come over here and do that. Because these guys can all focus over there. It's fine. Um... I hope I can core this land. I might just release him as a puppet, though. 
Because I don't want them to be a drain on us. I really don't want them to. But we'll go to War Economy. Ooh, we lose political power every day. Ooh. Is that worth it then? Get more oil. Hmm. Tactical bombing, enemy air support, division speed. That's not bad. I like that. More speed. Uh, morale. Division time. Well, probably get more recovery rate. That's not really important right now, I guess. Ooh, I don't want to lose political power, though. We get a few more consumer goods, which is okay. We get less than one a day, then. Hmm. It really makes you think a little bit more, then. Before you click on anything you really want to. Let's go ahead and do small grin to get less damage to garrisons. Because that actually should save us some pony power. You know what? Just go ahead if you can. If you can break over the river, that's probably the most important. There we go. Beak shot. That's good. Come on in. Good. Another division. Come on. As long as we can attack quickly and move fast enough. We'll be more than fine, right? More than fine. There you go. Yeah, they can't do much against us, which is great. How strong are these guys? They don't seem that strong. Of course, over in the more eastern portions, they are a little bit stronger. They're out of manpower. Okay, cool. Arcturian order was annexed. Oh, boy. We lost about 6,000 versus 34,000 calling our other, our other allies in. They actually have 11 divisions. That's not bad. Going from the south, their soft, undefended underbelly was actually a pretty good idea. Yeah, you guys are not doing well, but that's not my manpower, so I don't really care too much. Oh, where's the capital? Oh, Wingenberg. Wingenberg, eh? 10,000 losses, so be it. Go straight up there. At this point, go and do that, too. There you go. Good. Doing pretty well so far. Help him out. Really smash him with that artillery bonus. Cool. And how's this looking? Compliance? Well, it's it's going. Civilian oversight. Oh boy, purification? Only against Red League. What the heck is that? That looks really cool. But regardless, we gotta throw you guys over here next, which would be great. Get one guy over here, please. Good. What, well, you guys lost? Come on. No losing here. Support weapons three. It's nice. We're running out of pony power, which is not good. Uh, you know what? Grab some more rubber. Rubber processing. Prison command, great. More political power. You just hold for now. You're losing. Uh, Heavenly Presence, Anti-Griffin Warfare. We're at war. That's not going to last for long, though. But let's do this. It's Heavenly Presence. The devotion expected of the army must be extended to the civil sector. The ponies of Lake City should realize that they do not work for their personal benefit, but rather towards the benefit of His Majesty and his imperial ambitions. Once this, this, once this has been achieved, there will be a little hindering our economic hegemony. Uh, take all but one. There you go. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, should have enough command power to actually do that. Hey, we killed them all off right there. Great. Winging bug. It's time for you to die. And you guys die too. Good. Okay, so we've actually done pretty well in this episode. I'm going to end that here. And I wanted to... Hmm. I would like to puppet them, but I'm going to take them for now. I don't think there's a way for us to core this land. And I don't want to have to honestly do this. So let me know. Should I release these nations? I mean, they could be pretty good under us, but I'm not sure how that's going to affect us in the future. Uh, let's see. What so is that? Zinton? Wingenbergen? For river empire do we need those not really but regardless in the next episode we'll probably go to war with the river coalition but we've done really well ourselves so let me know should i release these two nations that we just went to war with as puppets regardless hope you enjoyed today's episode if you did consider leaving a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below and i'll see you tomorrow when we will probably have a big old war against the river coalition thanks for watching have a great rest of your day